Hello there. Hey, thanks for joining me in today's video. My name is Ray Martinez, and this is my channel, Student Composer. This channel is about my journey as a beginning composer, and I want to talk about what my first semester at CSUN was like, because that's where a lot of my learning really began for music. But before that, I was in community college for a long time. I graduated high school in 2012, and then I went to Los Angeles City College for a whole year as a full-time student, and I struggled a lot. In high school, I was able to pass by by being an entertaining, funny, likable student. I didn't really do any work, and I didn't take it seriously. It wasn't until college where I realized that applying myself was really important. But as a full-time student, I couldn't find a way to actually meet all the deadlines and do all of my assignments. I didn't allow myself to be disciplined enough. I thought that I was going to be fine uh, just being a likable kid. But it didn't work out. So for a whole year as a full-time student, I passed probably two, three classes and all the other ones I failed. So I thought, maybe I need a change of environment. So I moved to Los Angeles Valley College for three years as a full-time student. The same thing ended up happening. I focused on my music classes a little bit, didn't take any other classes seriously. So I kind of passed here and there, but ultimately got a lot of Ds and Fs. So I thought I need to go to a different place and maybe I might be motivated enough. So now I'm attending Pierce College where I'm there for about a year, and as a full-time student, I fail again. A little while after, I receive an email from the Los Angeles Community College District letting me know that I have an academic dismissal from applying and attending any community college in the Los Angeles District. So they're kicking me out, essentially, and I'd have to write an appeal in order to get back. So at this time, I thought, hey, I'll take this time off in order to think about whether I want to go to college or not and what I actually want to do. But the thought came into my mind about going to Moore Park College, which is in Ventura County. So Los Angeles School District didn't have to know that I'm going there. <laughs> they couldn't stop me either. But I thought to myself, I'm going to take school more seriously now. So I decided to go to Moore Park College. And funny enough, I also wanted to go part-time. I was recognizing that all of my full-time load I couldn't handle, so I had to start off small to discipline myself. Now, at Park College, the students were determined. They cared about their education, and when I tried to make a joke or say something funny, a lot of them would just stare at me like I was a weirdo, so I felt very immature. But some, I recognized something in that pressure is that I need to start taking my school very seriously. So with these peers around me caring about their education, I started caring about my education. And I had awesome teachers that had great challenges for me to improve myself. When I made, went to Moore Park, I had to start all over, basic English, basic math. And for two years, I was really focusing on that and hammering those subjects. So that way I could get all of my credits in order to transfer. As a part-time student, I really was able to kick up my grades and apply to CSUN. I got into CSUN and they have an audition process for the program I wanted to get into. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the commercial and media writing program. I had a couple of friends that encouraged me to do that. One friend in particular said, just go for it, just audition and try your best. Now, I didn't know if I wanted to audition either on guitar, which is probably my best instrument, and honestly, I'm okay at guitar, but I didn't know how to read for guitar, and I'm self-taught, so I thought that the techniques and the way I know how to play guitar wouldn't be sufficient enough, and I couldn't read, uh, get, uh, I couldn't read for guitar, so I settled for piano, because I could read for piano, even though I didn't know how to play the piano. So my last semester at Moore Park, with a professor named Mona De Caesar, she really 
help me <laughs> with these uh, audition pieces. I, I did Chopin's Prelude in E minor and another one that I totally forgot. We really hammered it down and I tried as best as I could to interpret these pieces and play them as well as I could. But also another part of the audition process was to make three compositions, submit them with full score and orchestration. I've never composed a piece in my life, maybe one for a class, but really, I. I'm not a composer at this time. All I know is I wanted to get into this school and I want to get into this program to learn composition. So I try my best. I create these three compositions, not knowing what I'm doing. I also write scores for them, not knowing what I'm doing. And I turn them in. I finally get to see Sun for my piano audition and my interview. So it's the time for audition. I go in, I audition on piano first and I do my prelude and then I get to my second piece. In the middle of the second piece, the instructor comes up, he tells me to stop, and he puts a piece of paper in front of me. He said, sight read this. And I was so scared, I did not know how to sight read. But I tried my best. They asked me to step off the bench and they started asking me a couple of questions about my former training and how long I've had private lessons. I let them know, I've never had former training and I've never had private lessons. They were really surprised and I have no idea if that was a good surprise or a bad surprise, but they thanked me and asked me to go on my way. And then I go to my interview, which was terrible. At least I thought it was terrible. I get there, uh, we start the interview late. I have about five minutes and the professor, he asks me, do you wanna be the next Hans Zimmer? And I reply, no. <laughs> and that's funny thinking back now, but he ends up saying, the kids who want to come to this school want to be the next Hans Zimmer. So you need to really think about whether you want to be here or not. I wasn't entirely sure how to answer his question. So he said, I haven't listened to any of your pieces. I will listen to them and I'll email you in a couple of weeks, uh, letting you know whether you got in the program or not. So as I'm leaving, I'm very nervous, and the only thing I say as I leave is, hey, I know that I don't want to be the next Hans Zimmer, but what I do know is that I want to be in this program. I feel like this is the right place to be, and this is the place where I'm supposed to learn. And then afterwards I left, and for sure, for sure, I thought I was not gonna make it into CSUN. At this point, my hope was lost. I should probably join the music industry studies at CSUN. Uh, <laughs> that's messed up, but to this very day, I have no idea why they accepted me into this program. <laughs> I'm going to show you these composition pieces and I'm going to perform the prelude in E minor for you. But honestly, they must have confused me with someone else. I'm thankful. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm really glad that I'm in the program. I've learned a lot, but I just couldn't see a way they'd have, they, they would have taken me. So at this point, I'm super stoked, excited that I'm going to get to go to CSUN. So I register for my first semester. Um, I meet with one of the advisors and we go through, this is what it's going to look like. And my first semester was so tough. Um, emotionally, uh, mentally, and I just didn't know if I should be in this program at the end of that. But I'll talk about that in another video. So I've been posting videos every Friday, and what I'm gonna do is in the next uh, couple of days, I'm gonna post uh, four consecutive videos. One, uh, Three videos are gonna be about my audition pieces. So you're going to listen to what I wrote, you're going to see what I wrote, I'm going to put the score up, and I am very sorry for what you're about to listen to when you, when you get to those. Um, but you'll really get a sense of uh, where I was when I decided to audition. And then that fourth video is going to be me performing uh, Chopin's Prelude. Um, I haven't played it since that audition, so it's probably going to sound about the same uh, when I perform that. But next Friday, my video is going to be about uh, my classes in the first semester. 
that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. I hope to see you in the next one.